Welcome to r slash Entitled People, where we share stories from your lives about people who think the rules don't apply to them and they should get what they want. Thank you friends for subscribing to the channel and for so many likes. And today we have three great stories, so subscribe, hit the like button, and let's begin. The first story. The owner's son fires the manager because he considers himself superior to an IT specialist hired specifically by the owner. The second story. I'm quitting the job I worked at for 16 years and getting a job with a direct competitor of the company where I'll get a lot more money. The third story. I hacked the system working three jobs for a total of only five hours a day. The first story is how to go from FOM to jail in five hours. This tale is set in the time of COVID. It would not have been written without the strong encouragement of the users of the Tales from the Front Desk Discord. The players are the following. Texan equals me. NG equals new girl. BB equals front office manager, in charge of the front desk. OS is owner son. O is owner. FD is front desk staff. GM is general manager. AGM is assistant general manager. Guest is hotel guest. This day started like any other day. I awake and jump in the shower. I jump out and check my phone and notice that there are 45 emails from this morning alone from BB, asking if I'm awake and on the property to assist guests with their Wi-Fi connection issues and electronic doodads. I respond back to her latest email stating that per email I sent yesterday, I do not do guest IT support unless I have time, and sadly today I do not. Texan. I go down from my hotel room to my office. Upon reaching there, I am greeted by a line of people, who BB sent for me to provide support to, bypassing the signs that said employees only an access restricted. After helping the guests connect their crap tops to the Wi-Fi network, I start on my project for the day, which was to do a network audit and find out exactly how jacked up the network was from being hobbled together and held together by a prayer and silly string, with no IT staff for 20 years, and every computer and user having local admin access. Get a knock on my door from a hotel guest. Texan, how may I help you? Guest, uh, BB said to come see you about getting my fire stick to connect to the hotel Wi-Fi. Texan, oh, I'm sorry, BB was incorrect. While it is true that I help guests with Wi-Fi issues on days I'm not busy or slammed with work, sadly today I have too much to do, but I can see what I can do to assist you. Is it giving you any sort of error? Guest. No, BB told me to come here first before I tried to connect it to the network. Texan. Gosh darn, it's BB. Guest, please try to connect and if you have any trouble, feel free to go to the FD to ask for help. Texan. Types email reminds BB that I do not do guest IT support, as I am regional IT support for the 11 hotels that owner owns. BB responds to my email with the following. How dare I? She's an FOM, and I'm a lowly regional IT tech. She will not direct the front desk staff to stop sending guests for any tech-related issues to my office, as I don't have any authority over her, since you're a regional IT tech, and I'm an FOM of this property, and I rank lower than her on the COC, chain of command. Texan. I respond with the following email, per my last request dated yesterday date, requesting you to instruct the front desk staff to non-send guests to my office for support. With connecting their electronic devices to the Wi-Fi, and per your response dated yesterday date stating that you refuse to comply, as you're above me per your email sent yesterday, email attached, I have no choice but to escalate this as the customers are breaching a secure area, which breaks a couple dozen different security regulations and business regulations. I'm unable to ensure that appropriate measures are being taken for the security of the computer hardware, and such will be forced to if measures are not taken to resolve the security lapses, remove the ability to take credit card and other sensitive financial data, due to lack of security, per brand name security regulations, which clearly state that PCI data and other sensitive data must be secure, and all computer hardware must be locked down to prevent theft, per your response of refusing to do so because I'm just a regional IT tech, and per your email I'm below you, I'm CCing your manager on this email, AGM and the GM to inform them of this fact that it measures are not taken, I will be forced to remove the ability to process credit card payments per brand name regulations and other business regulations. Texan. I go out in my little lobby area to sign for the delivery of the new Wi-Fi AP and network hardware, and see AGM and GM walking into BB office with murder in their eyes. BB starts sweating and yelling at AGM and GM about how she was not consulted on my hire, and as a manager she should have been consulted. GM. 
Texan operates at a regional level. The owner hired him as field IT tech. BB, Texan should report to me since I'm an FOM, and I am management while he's just a tech. AGM, BB Texan only reports to the owner or the owner's son, no one else. He was doing you courtesy by assisting the guest you sent to his office. Even thought he told you he was too busy today to assist guests, as he's upgrading the computer and the network here. BB, that does not seem fair. He a regional tech he should be below me and have to report to me, and he should do what I tell him to do including assisting guests with their Wi-Fi issues. AGM, he does not have to do that. He is above you in fact I think if he wanted to he could fire anyone here, and I could not stop it, I think, as he's the equivalent of a regional director. BB, Texan should not be allowed to say no to me, and he should help every guest I send to his office, and swipe in. GM calls every front desk agent into BB's office. NG prints out the email I sent and then BB emails telling them to ignore me, as I have no authority, and I am below her in rank. BB, NG, you're supposed to be on my side, why would you print out the emails? AGM reads the paper, NG handed her, and asks BB for her response. BB, Texan is below me in authority, I'm not going to tell me front desk stuff to not send guests into an employee-only area for tech support. That's what Texan was hired for anyways. I was not. GM, BB, since you can't understand how serious this is, I'm going to demote you to Front Desk Agent 1. At Front Desk Agent 1 pay scale, $12 an hour demotion. Shortly thereafter, about an hour or so, I hear from the Front Desk BB complaining that Texan cost her job and does loyalty not matter anymore. She spent 10 years with the hotel as an FOM. Texan. Notices in the span of 10 minutes there are 10 P1 tickets in the queue from BB, saying she's unable to stream Netflix or Hulu on her phone. P1 tickets are all hand on deck major system outage and or check in system offline, not for trivial matters. All P1 tickets are sent to the anyone above an AGM at the property in question, including the owner and his son, and starts a 15 minute response window. BB starts yelling at NG for not defending her in there and placing the blame on her and saying that she's a bad employee for CYA, in front of I would say about 10 guests. NG runs away crying to the ladies room. Guest. Ask BB may I please speak to the AGM or GM. BB asks what for. Guest, your conduct and your pettiness in airing your dirty laundry in front of people checking in. BB shock Pikachu face and summons the GM to the front counter. OS calls me and asks what these P1 tickets are about since there were 10 in 10 minutes time. GM chews out BB for bad mouthing me in front of guests. OS, I'm coming to the hotel to straighten this out. Short while later OS arrives. OS goes into the former FOM office and calls the GM and BB into it. BB starts defending her actions and saying she was within her right as management, and she deserves to be FOM. OS is not buying it. BB is fighting with the GM, and OS, saying she should have been consulted on the hiring of the IT person, since it's within range of her responsibility. It is not. OS is saying that it's his dad's responsibility to hire for IT. BB is saying that does not matter as a hotel management she's above all regional staff. OS. That's BS, she was only hired as a favor to the GM, and as part of the hiring of the GM he had to hire his wife. OS, per the contract you were only supposed to be kept hired as long as you and your husband were married, and he worked for us you had a job. OS, but thank you for letting us know that you guys are not married. OS, we can settle this. OS, one of two ways, you're fired and I'll pay the rest of your shift with your FOM pay, or you're demoted to overnight FD, and only if you apologize to Texan. You have your choices, you have 30 seconds to make it. BB, what do I have to do to get my FOM job back? OS, you'll never get FOM again. You abused regional staff and abused network access and privilege. You badmouthed regional staff in front of guests and caused us to have at least 10 complaints sent to brand about us. OS, your 30 seconds are up, what do you choose? BB, are there any manager positions I can have? OS, make your choice. BB, I guess I'll take night desk. BB, can I get my old payback? OS, okay you're on probation and if I hear you causing any trouble I will personally fire you. If there's even a single complaint about, I will fire you, do you understand? OS, I will tell IT to reinstate your access, and NG is the new FOM. BB, F that B, I quit. OS, okay well thank you for serving company for 10 years. We will mail you your final paycheck. You have 5 minutes to pack your desk and locker before security will escort you off the property. BB was escorted off the property and returned later and proceeded to destroy about $1,500 worth of computer equipment and may or may not have been a cop. Texan coming back from taking a lunch and dinner break and notices that there are two police cars parked at the front door. 
Texan wonders what happened and who called the police officers, and grumbles that someone stole his parking spot. BB going savage on computer equipment and trying to break down the door of the IT closet. Texan, just my luck, I came back at the wrong time. I wonder if it's too late to slip out to my truck and escape. BB gets arrested, surprised Pikachu face, and fights with the arresting officers, and may or may not have bit a cop while she was being dragged to the squad car. The second story is, I get to quit my 16 year job today. I've been with my employer since I got out of high school. It's not the dream job in a dream field, but it is well done to keep a roof over my head and my lights on. I've become a powerhouse here. I know the process like the back of my hand, and the facility like I built it myself. For these reasons and time investment, I thought I would just move up and retire from this place. But two years ago, we got a new plant manager, a maverick put in place by a management team that has never stepped foot inside this facility. So it goes. We all knew why we were here up to now. We make the money, we go home. Nobody loves it, but nobody despised it. But the maverick came in needing to leave his mark on an already extremely profitable facility. Not all change is possible, like not all movement is forward. I hate it here. This dude made me hate it here. Nonsense initiative to hang his hat on. Capital projects that cost more than most employees will make in years to automate working systems, while other necessary systems are literally crumbling. The fairness of a family facility has become overwhelming, giving out opportunity based on attitude, not aptitude. With success or failure as a team, the individual metrics used to argue for increased compensation becomes moot. My years of knowledge and skills to put it to use become a collective trade of the hive. Team members play together, eliminating the coexisting of coworkers. I finally put my resume on the desks of our competitors, and it didn't take long to hear back. Got an offer for more dollars and increased benefits and pet insurance almost immediately. I've been shortchanging myself assuming that a job I dedicated my formidable years to would take care of me. They won't. I didn't want to quit my job. I like the job and I'm good at it. I'm very much quitting a boss and I cannot wait to tell him. I'm putting in the two weeks because of obligations I made to other employees as far as holiday coverage. It's not their fault dude is a nutsack. Update. I told him that my last day will be November 30th and that I've taken a position elsewhere. He obviously asked where and I just said not here. He asked if I had it in writing. A last ditch effort to talk sense into me I'm sure. I saw the light leave his eyes when I said yes. He turned back to his monitor and offered half-hearted congratulations. I got another call from my soon-to-be employer asking my vaccination status because they have a 2k incentive that I'm eligible for after 90 days and that they accidentally gave me a nickname already. I think I made the right choice. And the last story is, I now have three work from home jobs. I now make 120k annually and I work five hours a day for all three jobs combined. I've cracked the system. COVID changed the game. I had a revelation shortly after the pandemic started. My job was now to be done remotely from home. Of course, it would be impossible to have a second full-time job if I had to still go into the office. But now that my home is my office, I decided to find multiple jobs because why not? It started as an experiment at first with getting the second work from home job, claims processing for 35K annually. Then a month went by, two months, and I had been working both jobs no problem collecting two paychecks. I can easily do the work I need to do within the first hour and then just follow up as the day goes on. Total at desk time would be around five hours for both jobs. So I decided to get a third work from home job, similar job, just a claims processor that pays 35K annually. On top of my original job, all three jobs net me 120K. It's changed my life and I encourage anyone out there who's sick of driving to a dead-end job at a restaurant, office, warehouse, retail store to do the same from the comfort of your home. The system has failed me long enough so I'm taking control. The irony of this post is that I'm working more jobs, but in reality have never been more free. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.